Hello, my materialistic minions, me, Bo Shevisu here, coming to you today with this Emerson Gear helmet. This, uh, actually, you can tell that I put some little stickers on there because uh, I need some reflective stickers for actually using this while mountaineering. Yes, I am using this for more sportive type means. Uh, I also added a small little flashlight right there along with a, uh, a little accessory. There's all sorts of accessories that you can put on the side right there. So anyway, I didn't see a lot of reviews on these kind of helmets, so I just wanted to offer a few hints, tips, tricks on this helmet and sort of what it looks like right there. Once again, that bright orange reflective tape, you don't have to put it on there, but um, I got it separately and just popped it on the, the back as well as the front. So when you fall into a crevasse and people are shining flashlights down there, it'll actually light up. Um, now, there are some differences between this model and a lot of other models that uh, Emerson Gear actually makes. And as a matter of fact, um, I'll show you a quick little, yeah, they make a lot of different kinds of helmets. And that's another reason why I kind of wanted to do this review, because those top helmets, I have the, uh, the ER5658 model, I believe. I'm sorry, the EM5658 model. And once you get down there, you're looking at more of the, the foam interior that is all throughout the helmet, which I don't like. I don't want a skater helmet. I want a lightweight type helmet. I'm gonna show you the differences here. So you'll see in there, you'll see all these separate pads. You see that right there? You can also get a good look on the actual Amazon page itself uh, if you were to look up the EM5658. And I got this for about $50 straight from China. Honestly, I should have just spent the extra 10 bucks and got it for $60 here on Amazon because this did arrive damaged. And of course that just kind of happens uh, because it is, uh, well, it's from China and it takes quite a while to ship and odds are if it shows up damaged, yeah. But they did refund me, so they do stand behind their product, which is pretty darn cool. Anyway spend the extra 10 bucks and get the $60 version. So in case you're wondering, this type of camouflage right here, this uh, is the AT, or the, the ATAC FG, I think it's called, what is, what is it called? They have all sorts of acronyms, ATFG, I'm sorry, ATFG. And uh, this specifically, the FG stands for foliage green. Uh, so this really works in the Pacific Northwest environment. And if in fact I did have to use this for, I don't know, an airsoft game, paintball, or even some mild forms of self-defense, who knows, who knows? I'm not gonna say this is military grade by no means, but if your budget is $60, maybe that's all you have. In that event, I can just easily pull off those orange stickers and away I go and it blends in quite nicely. It does also come with some accessories that you can kind of pop on. I'm gonna show you these accessories. As a matter of fact, my daughters were playing with these right here. Um, this was kind of surprising because I didn't actually see this in the listing, but you'll see that uh, this little clip right here actually pops onto the front of the helmet. And so that goes on like so, if in fact you wanted to put a flashlight mount on that. It also comes with a little Picatinny type rail that you could also put on the side. As you can see on the side, this can just slide in there like that. And of course there are all sorts of mounts, uh, flashlight mounts that you can get for these kind of rails. And uh, also some other little uh, small little odds and ends and accessories. Honestly, I don't know what that is, what the purpose of that is. But hey, yeah, have fun with exploring these things. Honestly, I just uh, got the flashlight as well as this additional little accessory that slid in there. And I can just push right back there and it turns on. Very nice. And I also got this uh, little patch on the back, which is uh, in the mountaineering world. Uh, that's what we say. We say sneak in, sneak out, which means that uh, you're not there to dominate the mountain. The mountain is indifferent. It doesn't care how, uh, how determined you are to get to the top. It will kill you. Uh, so basically, we have this humility when we co go in and go out. Sneak in, sneak out. We're not there to dominate the mountain. We're just there to go on a walk uphill. Um, so as far as customization goes, it's uh, really quite robust. Um, you can just put this on and just turn this and that squeezes the whole thing in. They actually have quite a few series of steps right here that they give you, uh, starting from one all the way to five. And then they also give you more series of steps here, one all the way to step seven, uh, including actually putting in additional foam pads if you really, really wanna make it comfortable. 
Uh, so I would highly, highly recommend getting something like this. I know it's probably gonna run you another 20 to $30 more compared to the other models. But as you can see, it's uh, very lightweight because of the individual pads in there. It's not a full um, uh, foam shell like, like this right here, only throughout the whole thing like a skater helmet. Uh, I don't want a heavy, heavy skater helmet like that, especially when I'm doing mountaineering type activities. I want something fairly lightweight. Uh, so that's it, fairly robust. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering uh, if it did, what happened when it arrived broken? So if you look at it right like so, you will see it's kind of squishy on that this side. And yet on the other side, there's a little piece of plastic way back there, and that snapped in transit. Uh, now, I've been testing it and testing it and testing it, and it actually doesn't really have that much bearing on the integrity of the helmet itself. It's more just like a comfort thing so that this thing isn't resting on the side of your temple. Um, but as you see, once I put it on like that, it fits fairly comfortably. And even if it's not strapped all the way around like this, and I'm head banging, it still stays put quite nicely. So with that, considering the price point, the fact that they stay stand behind their product, even though, yes, it did show up broken from China, I imagine if you were to get this on Amazon, it's not gonna show up. And if, it's, and if that's the case, it's absolutely five out of five stars. Highly recommend this helmet. Uh, very versatile. Uh, you can customize it, have fun with it. That's it, my review on the EM5658 from Emerson Gear. Hope that this is helpful. And if you need this link in the bottom of the description, just click on that and it'll point you directly to the Amazon page where I reference this helmet. So that's it. Bo Shevisu out.